Duh! What's up, guys? <laughs> How are you all doing? All right, apps. We all got apps, but there's a lot of pointless apps in this world, ladies and gentlemen. Pointless, stupid, weird, I don't know. But today, we're going to be looking at some of these apps, and maybe you guys can download them as well and try them out yourself. All right, first, we're going to start off with, actually, before we even continue, uh, the background is KSI versus Joella. Yes, I know it's old, but it's because this is my new phone, and I rarely use it. This is like my private phone. All right, we'll start off with Oh My God Teller. So apparently this can read the future, or well, my future anyway. So let's see what's in store for me. Um, harm really, okay, this is this is where the money's at. This is where, this is how they're able to judge your future, etc. cetera. $29.99 a month. Oh, fuck it. All right, we're in. We are in and, wow, there's quite a few people that play this. Uh, Adara, Cole, oh my gosh. Flipping egg. Actually, bare people who bought this. I thought no one would buy this app. Finally, there's people who are stupid enough to think that palm readings can tell the future. Let me not get ahead of myself. We don't know. This could be factual. Palm reading, what's in your future? Select your palm photo. All right. <laughs> All right, sick. Oh, we've, we've got a result, ladies and gentlemen. You are determined, ambitious, and diligent. Oh, okay. You are very restrained when it comes to love, or to put it simply, love with your head, not heart. You are not the type that falls for someone easily. However, once you do, you'll truly love that person. I will not play with love matters. Moreover, your heart is full of high integrity. <gasps> And I've even got integrity written on my arm. Oh shit, maybe this thing is factual. And idealism. You're hopeful and very determined to achieve high success. You like to think. Those who have this type of line, once they set their minds on something, they'll do it until they succeed. I'll give it that, I'll give it that. That's that's pretty accurate with me. You have such a high determination and will likely become successful when you're above 35 years old. You don't think I'm successful now, fam? What the fuck does that mean? What the fuck is that? This, this thing taking a fucking piss. This thing's a load of shit. What a load of shit. You're impulsive, daring, and rely mostly on your emotions. Sometimes you lack awareness and clear thought, thereby leading to less than ideal decisions. Is that it? Was that $30 worth? You know what? I'm gonna use my right hand and uh, let's see if it comes out with something different. If it does, then this is definitely a load of shit. But uh, if not, then fair, fair play, but you know. Successful when I'm 35. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Boom. Okay. Yeah, this, this is full of shit. It's, it's come up with something different. You tend to be impulsive, attracted to things easily, and can't resist your desires. You have a good omen and artistic skills. I'm shit at art. I'm absolute dog at art. Have you seen me draw or try to draw? I can only draw stick men, and they're trash as well. All right, well, you, we'll do the same hand. Deform my hand a bit. See if that changes everything. Oh, do you see that you have exceptional artistic skills, imagination and management skills. This is just waffle, what the fuck? Let's try this. Sick, read this motherfucker. Oh, nah, this is fucking bullshit. Look, you are lively and very witty. Bro, make up your fucking mind, what am I? Like, you can't just keep giving me random shit that I am. Come on, put my foot. Let's see, Let's see if we can read my foot. Yep, go on then. Oh, I have stress problems. <laughs> What? <laughs> Those who have this type of handwriting should know there is always a bright side to things. Have you seen my handwriting? This was the roast me piece of paper that I used. My handwriting is literally as if a spider dipped itself into ink and then came out and slowly died while slivering across the page. That is my handwriting. Okay, you know what? I'm just not gonna put anything. Let's see if it can read just nothing. This is a load of shit. This is just a load of shit. What the hell? Why, everyone is determined, ambitious, and diligent. I right, try and read this hand. Oh, mate, I'm fucking done with this. <laughs> I'm done with fuck. Give me my fucking money back. This horoscope base indicates a short life. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, next app. I can't really answer this. Okay, next app, I believe is a whipping app. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, let's see all these. Ooh, that's a good one. Oh, right. Yeah, oh, that's a good one. That's a real good one. Oh, this one. Oh, ho, ho! oh that's got a really good, like, wind up. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, that's a cheeky one. Oh, that's, that's, that's really good. Oh, damn. Oh, that's pretty 
cool. Anyway, the reason why I got this app was because back in my day when I used to go to school, obviously people got gassed over iPhones and apps, blah, blah, blah. And I went to a predominantly white school. There was only two black people in our school and I was included in that too. So there was a bit of racism and uh, people downloaded a whipping app. And I think you already know where I'm going from here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, people would whip me with an iPhone app. Think about it. One of the most degrading things in the world and you literally can't do anything because technically they're not whipping you, but it's the thought that pisses me off. If you know what I mean, it's the thought that they were technically whipping me without the whip. Just the sound, the sound enough triggered me. So I don't know, like I've always seen this app as as racist. <laughs> it's just a lot of bad memories. Like, think of it like this. You're at school, you know, I'm just minding my own business and a group of eight or nine white males just, you know, surround me and go, yeah, pick up that cotton. Yeah. I just have to stay in the middle and accept technically getting whipped. It was a weird but horrible situation. So yeah, that, that, was, a, that was a dark time in my life. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> wow, wow, wow. That's right, bitch. Seriously, yep. I can do it on my arm. Yeah. Yeah, oh. yeah oh. you like that, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Roll reversal. That's right. I was turning it sexual, you turned it racist. Fuck you. Why? I... <laughs> what are you gonna do, bitch? Wait, wait. No, wait, that's what, what I did. <laughs> Anyway, moving on to a lighter note. When will I die? It's an app which can tell when I'm going to die. So we'll put in my full name, Olajide Olatunji, and year of birth, 1993. All right, let's start the test. How much do you smoke tobacco? I do not smoke. How much exercise do you do in a typical day? Uh, more than 60 minutes. Uh, how frequent do you drink alcoholic beverages? Uh, occasionally. How often do you get sick? Rarely. Which option describes your eating habits best? I eat at fast food joints all the time. I'll say this one. Which options describes your usual walking pace? Um, I'm just average pace. Uh, which option describes your occupation best? Uh, high pay job, <laughs> low to mid pay job, no job or student. Um, hmm, I think it maybe low to, I'm kidding guys. How much sleep do you get a night? It ranges from six to eight to less than six. So I uh, will say less than six. Which option describes your weight? Uh, I'd say I'm just normal. Uh, which best describes your day-to-day -day attitude? Cheerful, relaxed, approachable, determined, competitive, aggressive, stress, irritable, panicky. I'd say most of the time I'm cheerful. Oh, oh my God. Oh shit. Oh, oh, we're past 40. We're past 50. We passed 60, oh, 70, 80. Oh, a TikTok ad. What the fuck is this? No, get the fuck out. I'm gonna die at age 83. Oh, that's sick. That's actually like a really good time to die. I wouldn't mind dying then. I don't, I don't mind living till I'm 83. Fuck yeah. Oh, I thought this was gonna be like 27. <laughs> Gonna be like shit. <laughs> Alright, on to the next one. People are gonna enjoy this one. Kissing test. You know, I'm interested to see this as well. Are you a good kid? I am a man. Kiss me. Oh, Alright, well, I mean, let me let me get salt first. Alright, babes, how you doing? You good? You looking fresh. Mmm, your lips looking plump. Mmm. Yo, let me uh yeah, let me. Let me tell you something. You're special to me, you know that. I like your smile, I like your eyes, I like everything about you. I don't know, I just, I just really wanna kiss you right now. Yeah, right now, let's do it. God, I was so fucking cringe. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? All right, let's fucking do this, all right, come. Oh shit, you're a passionate kisser. For you, kissing is all about following your urges. If someone's hot, you'll go in for the kiss. End of story. You can keep any relationship sizzling with your steamy kisses. Your total spark plug and your kisses are bound to get you in trouble. Let me kiss a different way. Uh, I can't just hit my mouth against the screen, so. You're an expert kisser, what the fuck? You're a kissing pro. But for you, it's all about quality, not quantity. Bro, I literally went, and that's expert kiss. How do you, all right, you know what? Let me let me try something else. I'm not even going to 
kiss. I'm just gonna use my fingers. The tempter. You know all the tricks, my friend. Calm and confident, there's no one you can't please. You love a good time and you, Sally, are the one who makes it good. The grammar here is fucking atrocious, number one. Number two, fam, I use two fucking fingers. <laughs> this app is clearly bullshit. Uh, there's this one, one called Tickle Her. I thought it, it was quite interesting. I'm quite intrigued. Brunette, shooter, sofa, unlock girl. You have to pay to unlock. Let's just try this out. Oh, let's put the sound up. Oh. Oh, baby. Okay. Oh, I'm feeling this. Okay. Alright, what do I do? Do I just... Rub her a bit. <laughs> oh, you like that? Oh, oh, you're, oh, you're naughty. Oh, you're a naughty girl. I wanna, I'm just gonna tip your, your chest a little bit. Oh, oh, no, no, no! <laughs> you're tempting me. <laughs> okay, all right, just your armpit. <laughs> you like that, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you slut! You dirty whore! Okay, so I'd like to apologize. Uh, that normally doesn't happen. I don't know what came over me there. Um, <clears throat> let's move on to a different girl before I get uh, before I get in trouble. <laughs> Preview. Yeah, I'm paying on. I'm definitely paying. I got. I I got her. I mean, all right. So this girl is clearly extremely excited to see me. Look at her twirling her hair, just acting like she doesn't care. But she knows I'm watching. She knows I'm just itching to tickle her. Oh, you're 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 a spicy one. Oh, how about this? Oh, it's Josh. Why don't you want me to tickle her? Oh, I'm gonna tickle her again. Oh, okay, all right. What? Nah, man. These ads are literally ruining my flow. We gotta, we gotta get rid of these ads. What? Two p Okay. Oh. You like when I stroke your hair like that? Mm. Oh. Oh. God! Fuck! Ah! Again, I'd like to apologize for that. This definitely doesn't show that uh, I'm sexually frustrated. In fact, let's just move on to Sofo. All right, Sofo. It's just me, you, and the teddy. Let's take off the teddy, see what happens. Oh, okay, oh. You like that teddy, don't you? Okay. You like if I do this? Oh. <laughs> Fam, I paid for no ads. What the fuck is this? Fam, I just got scammed. I've just got fucking scammed. I paid two quid for no ads and I just got an ad. What the fuck? Nah, man, I'm pissed. I'm pissed. You don't fucking do that. Oh, my fuck. This app is fucking bullshit. So, for cheer me up, please. <laughs> About that. Oh, you don't like it when I do that, do you? Do you like it when I do this? <laughs> oh. no, I'm pissed. I can't believe this. I paid for no ads. I paid for no ads. I paid for no ads. Why am I getting ads? What's the point of spending two pounds if I'm still gonna get an ad? What a fucking shit game! Don't fucking buy this app. It's fucking trash. All right, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, we have Lick This App. Practice makes pleasure. Hmm, interesting. Lick here to begin. Right, am I really gonna, oh fam, but the diseases, the, the germs. All right, hold on, I'm gonna clean this up. You watch, I'm gonna get ill after doing this. Is this even gonna work? Oh wow, it did, okay. Oh rah, select an exercise. All right, let's try circles. How many pencil can you sharpen? Ah. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What has my life come to, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> We're gonna stop there. <laughs> I've just realized I'm just doing a fucking madness. This has been your boy KSI. If you have any more weird ass apps, I'll put it in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, cool. I'll see you guys in a bit. Peace. Damn, I'm already.